Hello again, and welcome to That's English. Oh. Oh. Hello, welcome. Ashley, why are you wearing overalls? And what's that toolbox for? Have you been doing some manual work? No, but our topic for today's programme is work. So I thought I'd wear some work clothes. Oh, I see. Have you ever had a job in a factory? Yes. When I was a student, I worked for two months in an electronic components factory in the dispatch department. And were the working conditions good? Mm. We had to do a lot of overtime. We were working 12 hours a day, but the pay was good. And why did you leave? Well, actually, I lost my job. I was late for work, so I was sacked. Oh, Ashley. Well, in today's programme, we meet some employees who are having problems with their manager. Yes, he's blaming them for the poor sales figures, but I really don't think it's their fault. While you watch, try and answer this question. Why can't Bob and Phil meet the delivery dates? Las fechas de entrega. Can I have a coffee, please? Thank you. Hi, Amy. Are you OK? Oh, it's just work. Let me guess. Your manager told you that he'd give you a huge pay rise. Oh, not exactly. No. In fact, I had a conversation about sales figures with my boss yesterday. And? He said it was my fault that sales were down by 15%. He told me they had to improve or I'd lose my job. I'd be sacked. That's awful. I think the problems are in the dispatch department. They take much too long to send out the products to the customers. I don't know what to do about it. Why don't you talk to dispatch and find out why there are such long delays? Then offer your boss some solutions. Yes, I'll do that. Thanks, Julia. Mr Bradley said that we had to work as a team. This isn't teamwork. It's slavery. We're working overtime. I've worked 12 hours extra this week and we still can't meet the delivery dates. I'm planning to retire early. I need the overtime. Well, you may have to retire earlier than you think. Alan in accounts told me the business was losing money. Maybe we should talk to Mr Bradley. Why bother? He's supposed to be a manager. He couldn't even manage a kid's football team. Hello? Oh, afternoon, Bob. Hello, Phil. How are you? It's terrible. Fine, thanks, Amy. Oh, look, shall I get some coffee? Then you can take a break. Oh, I don't think we've got time. What a brilliant idea. So what did Mr Bradley say to you about your working conditions? He said he had to prioritise efficiency. So he sacked Naomi and Janice. He just told them they didn't have a job anymore. Since then, we've been working harder, but we can't meet the delivery dates. I'm not surprised. There are two of you doing the job of four people. Are there any plans to take on more employees? I told Mr Bradley we couldn't manage the workload. Why are there fewer people working here? Perhaps I should resign. Maybe I'll go and see him and tell him I want to leave the company. No, don't do that. Let me talk to Mr Bradley. <laughs> oh dear. Bob and Phil are very fed up with their working conditions. And Amy's boss says he'll sack her if the figures don't improve. So, did you get the answer to our question? Why can't Bob and Phil meet the delivery dates? Since then, we've been working harder. But we can't meet the delivery dates. I'm not surprised. There are two of you doing the job of four people. They can't meet the delivery dates because there are two of them doing the job of four people. Yes, they're understaffed. They really need more people. And they're overworked and stressed. I don't think Mr Bradley is a very good employer. He's certainly not the perfect boss. In the video, we heard people reporting what someone has said or stated 
using the verbs say and tell. He said he had to prioritise efficiency. So he sacked Naomi and Janice. He just told them they didn't have a job anymore. When we report what someone said, we change the verb tense. For example, if the original statement was in the present simple, you have to work, then the reported statement is in the past simple. Watch. Mr Bradley said that we had to work as a team. If the statement was in the present continuous, then the reported statement is in the past continuous. For example, the business is losing money. Alan and Accounts told me the business was losing money. And if it was in the future, then the reported statement uses the conditional form, would. For example, I'll give you a huge pay rise. Your manager told you that he'd give you a huge pay rise. Oh. So, Ashley, when you were sacked, what did your employer say to you? You are very irresponsible. I'll never employ you again. He told me I was very irresponsible and he said he'd never employ me again. Poor you. My first boss was very happy. He'd... She said that she didn't want me to go. She said she'd raise my salary. She sounds nicer than my boss. Now, in the second part of the video, Amy tries to tell Mr Bradley what the problems are. And her friend Julia tries to help her. While you watch, find the answer to this question. What does Julia offer Amy? So, you asked some of our employees why our sales figures were falling. Well, yes. And what did they say? They asked me if the company planned to employ more people. They also asked why there were fewer people working in dispatch. Do they want more money? Did they ask for a pay rise? No. They are overworked and stressed because the warehouse is understaffed. There just aren't enough workers. I see. Phil said he was unhappy about doing extra work, so you blame him for the fall in sales, but the real problem is you. No, it isn't. Orders either arrive late or not at all. Customers are fed up. That's why we're losing business. Last week, I asked you why sales figures were down. Yes, I know. And you asked me if I could solve the problem. I believe... Oh. Now you're making excuses about other areas of the business. No, I'm not. I think I found the solution. Good, you got my message. I'm so glad you could come, Amy. Did you talk to your boss? Yes. I told him about some problems with working methods and understaffing. I asked him when the company would improve the working conditions in dispatch. And did he listen to your suggestions? No. I think I should look for a new job. My CV is pretty good, but I don't think Stuart Bradley will give me a good reference. Listen, Amy, will you come and work for me? <gasps> but, Julia... I know you're hard-working and efficient. I need someone like you. <gasps> I don't know what to say. Then say yes. I can offer you a much better working environment. You can lead a team and I'll increase your salary. <gasps> so, you walked out of my office last night and got a new job? Well, yes. The company contacted me. The managing director asked me if I would work for her. Well, I can offer you a promotion and a salary increase if you stay here. But you said that I was no good at my job. Did I? Yes, you did. You told me that I had to improve my performance or I would lose my job. You'd fire me. Oh, well, yes, you know. I've decided, Stuart. This offer is too attractive. I'm getting a promotion and I'm going to be leading a team. And most important of all, I'm not going to be working for you. Yes, but I... Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go and talk to Bob and Phil. Goodbye. Well, I'm glad Amy finally told Mr Bradley what she really thought of him. 
And most important of all, I'm not going to be working for you. What a dramatic way to leave. Now, did you get the answer to the question? What does Julia offer Amy? Then say yes. I can offer you a much better working environment. You can lead a team and I'll increase your salary. Julia offers Amy a better working environment. She can lead a team and she'll get a salary increase. I'm not surprised Amy said she would accept the offer. In the video, we heard people reporting what someone has asked. They asked me if the company planned to employ more people. They also asked why there were fewer people working in dispatch. Well, yes, the company contacted me. The managing director asked me if I would work for her. When we report a question, we use the verb ask, followed by if or a question word, like what, why. How long? When? Where? Who? And we make the same tense changes as when we report a statement. Notice the word order is exactly the same as in a statement. Last week I asked you why sales figures were down. So you asked some of our employees why our sales figures were falling. Mr Bradley said, I asked you why sales figures were down. And he also said, you asked some of our employees why our sales figures were falling. So, Annabelle, when you applied for this job on That's English, what questions did they ask you in the interview? Oh, they asked me if I spoke Spanish. And they asked me if I'd be able to work at weekends. What did they ask you? They asked me where I was working and when I'd be available. And they asked me what was important for me in a job. Now, that's the topic of our street interviews today. What's important about your work? And this is what people said. Well, I mean, I've, having just finished university, you got all your student debt, so earning money, first of all. And then I think personal satisfaction as well, achieving, you know. Uh, job satisfaction, number one, um, and the people that I work with, so enjoying what I do. Uh, my work's very important to me, but I'm, I'm a freelance um, writer and animator, so I, uh, I don't have a job, so I have to be very committed to what I do, else I, I, wouldn't, well, I wouldn't do anything, basically. So I do it for the jo joy of it, so it's very, work is very, very important to me, because it's a pleasure. Everything. Commitment. Uh, continuity. Um, do you want to see what you do? Yes, I'm a nurse. I'm a nursery nurse. Work with little ones. Um, I work with special needs children, and I get such a lot out of working with those. So yeah, just work, just being there for them, and doing every day. It's interesting that only one person said that earning money was important. Yes, for many people, job satisfaction and enjoyment are more important than money. Hmm. But money is also important, at least for me. Yes, we know that, Ashley. So you'd better get back to work. Well, that's all from us today. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>